Okay. First things first. Hi, Chef Doug. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hi. This is my daughter, Mila. She's in here working on one of our other video subjects, the plant stand. Yeah. Mila knows how to pretty much use every tool in the shop. She has grown up in her grandpa's shop and now in her mom's shop. So she's pretty good at stuff. She'll be the best of us. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's also extremely artistic, so she's got a good touch with stuff. And Shop Dog decided he's to come and join the party. Anyways, this bedroom suite um, is one of the more beautiful ones that I've had in the shop. I've had a few I like. This one I like quite a bit. It's got a little bit of a modern uh, touch to it. So that's kind of my style, if you ask me. So it's got a beautiful little nightstand. And I wish that old sets had two nightstands, but for some reason, maybe they go missing. They only ever have one. I don't know, maybe the bed was always up against the wall. The rooms were smaller back in the day, but here is the one nightstand. And I love this little detail here that everything has going on. The drawers on these work really nicely. This is really well-made stuff, but there is lots of this stuff going on, the veneer chips um, all over this set. So we'll see those as we work through. Everywhere we'll have little touches of veneer help. It's not in bad shape, but sometimes that veneer just starts chipping off. And here's the high boy dresser. Same beautiful design. Uh, top's not in bad shape, just has a few scratches in the finish, so no big water stains or anything. And again, the drawers are all working really nicely. Uh, this one, I believe, has some veneer issues on the bottom and on a couple of the drawer fronts. And then we've got a darling little stool that goes with the vanity here. And it's got a tapestry on it right now. We will be recovering that piece. And I believe it needs a re-glue. We've got some pieces of veneer missing along here and a really interesting giant drawer that I have not seen in a lot of pieces for the top drawer on the vanity. So that's kind of cool. And the vanity comes with a mirror with some really nice uh, trim. Okay, I'm gonna start on the nightstand first. Check out these drawer bottoms. Coolest thing ever, you've never seen this before. It is rounded. So it's like a veneer piece that's slotted into a groove. So you got no edges to get stuff caught into, except for the back, you can still get stuff in there. But that is so cool, don't you think so? Yes. <laughs> oh. And here we go. Yes. We got our label. Canadian Furniture. Oh, cool. Canadian Cabinets and Furniture Canadian Limited. Furniture. Yep. <laughs> really enjoying my summertime help here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this apart and strip it down. I'm going to be putting in new pieces of veneer and so on this one we had a couple of sections missing just on this one the little chips like this unless everything is loose around it I'm just gonna be puttying uh, but big section like this will do edge tape so I've got a walnut edge tape here that I'm just gluing on with my iron which is going to make doing this job pretty simple. And then we just trim it up after and it's good to go. Yeah, so I'll just keep going around and getting these guys all in and then 
trim them off, and then we can strip this piece. I know we're going back to the original, but I'd like to show off the, the fact that it's teak a little bit more. Like if you look at um, just the side of that dresser over there, it's really dark. It's got a tinted color over it. And you can tell it's tinted because in my bucket of dried up finish here, you can see the stuff that we're pulling off has a color to it. And that's the color they add into the lacquer and a bit of the stain, and that's kind of um, changing the color a little bit. So I think I'm gonna try to go a little bit lighter, a little bit more natural with this set, just because it is made of such nice stuff. And I think we appreciate it a little bit more these days than they did back then, because it was a little bit more available. I've just got the um, little nightstand here. We did all the repairs on the front, and I've got the finish soaking on the, one of the sides here, and this is a really nice piece because it's finished on all four sides. Maybe not so nice because I have to strip all four sides, but that's fine. We are okay with extra work around here, or at least that's what I tell myself. So this finish is actually nice to strip because um, most of it comes up in the first pass with my stripper, and it comes up in a really nice way, it kind of chips easily off of the uh, off the surface. You can see it bubbling here. It's probably an old nitrocellulose lacquer, I'm guessing. And they're always easy to strip. And they were used a little bit more in the factories back in the 20s and 30s. But if you let the stripper work long enough, you'll easily be able just to kind of flake it off. See how that's going there? Which is pretty fun. All right, looks like we got a big old nasty dent right here. So I'm just gonna soak it with water. And I'm gonna do a spot treatment. Cause we'll be sanding this quite a bit. So I'm not worried about doing one thing in one area on this side. So I'm just gonna let those fibers swell up. 
and it is veneer, but um, it's got wood underneath it, so I should be able to swell the fibers in some way, shape, or form. There might still be a bit of an area that's crushed, but we'll see how far we can get with this. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a tip of my iron and I'm gonna start boiling that water. You can get like a little soldering iron or a, a hot air pen or something that is a little bit more precise than this, but this works for me. That's popping up pretty nicely. Just gonna dry that out. Let's do it one more time. Looks like it's got a little bit of a cut in the middle, so we'll have to putty the cut, but we'll be, we're able to get the rest of it nice and flush. That'll be awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It was a pretty big dent and now it's just kind of got that little lip from the cut in it right here. So we'll be able to sand that and pretty much make it go away. So I like to prep things as I go. So I'm gonna actually sand this side now and then I can flip it over to the next side. It saves me from flipping furniture like 10 million times. Okay, so we've got the uh, little nightstand all ready and in the booth waiting to get clear coated. So we'll work on the next piece. Just gonna do one at a time. And uh, it's this little stand. It's really pretty. I like the three pieces in the center. It's super sturdy. Usually these are not really well built in kind of an afterthought on, on the whole thing, the bedroom suite. But this one's made really nice and it has a little st storage compartment. So I think it's just adorable. So first things first, I'm gonna get this off of here because we're not keeping this fabric. And the hinges are a little bit loose, looks like on the seat side. missing a stay so that when you put the seat up it holds it up so we'll have to put that back as well all right so for damage on this piece um there's a little bit on the frame here where maybe stuff got stuck under and it dented that whole edge up really well this is uh poplar underneath or birch poplar or birch underneath the veneer so that and then there are some like on these top lips here especially where this stay was uh it's pretty chewed up right here so i'm probably just going to do some uh epoxy putty fill on these smaller pieces because it's not big enough to re-veneer the side uh, the actual sides of the bench are in pretty great condition just a little chip here and Inside's good, this side, uh, just another, <coughs> excuse me, same area, got a chip. And lots of spiders. Sorry guys, time to go. 
Lot number 509, 800 to 17. I don't know what that means. Anyways, we've got the uh, inspectors and it's a rubbed finish. Hmm, interesting. Someone has at some point put another finish over top. You can kind of see the light here, this goopy stuff that's got a little sag here. So um, although not beautiful, did do a good job of protecting it. Um, even if it's a bad job, it's better than nothing. Underneath of this shellac or whatever they they put on here looks like a nice finish that was rubbed. But anyways, um, because all of these are pretty minor repairs, I'm just gonna get straight into the stripping and uh, might do veneer on a couple of these front parts right here, uh, but everything else is looking pretty good. So let's get the stripper rolling.
All right, all finished up, looking really beautiful in its natural color. Did a lot of little touch-ups everywhere and gave it another two coats of lacquer off camera and we've got the mirror back in here. Everything's looking really beautiful. It's just natural, no toner over anything other than a few touch-ups. Uh, we're not doing the seat. The customer's gonna take care of that. So we're just leaving that off. We'll give her the piece to do. I really like the uh, variation in wood as you get with natural wood. Yeah, so thanks for joining me for this one, guys. And just a little short bedroom suite refinish and a nice little find. Um, finding the teak and uh, giving it a natural clear coat is the best thing you can do for this beautiful wood. So um, thanks a lot. If you really enjoyed this video, uh, tap the thumbs up. That helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, click that and uh, the little notification button will tell you when we put out a new video. I try to do one every one to two weeks um, to try to keep up. So thanks for joining me on this one. Check out our other videos. And if you enjoyed this one, you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Cheers.